Hey viewers, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be going to the Photos Plus Expo after I helped my friend move from his apartment into a truck. And yeah, so why don't you come on along? Uh, let's just roll the intro. <laughs> back everybody so I helped my friend move the stuff into the truck and it went a little bit longer than I expected and I was all hot and sweaty so I changed went home took a shower changed and now I am heading off to ooh sun ah I'm gonna burn up now I'm heading off to the subway I'm running late and I'm gonna head off to the expo so but before we do that coffee Coffee is done and I'm switching trains. I know I gotta take the seven for the Javits Center. So nice to see people are dressed up for Halloween. Sex bomb. Pretty soon, we walk backwards. Getting on in, where there's going to be nothing but tons and tons of equipment and new toys that are really expensive. Let's check it out.
This was a great speed light modifying system. They're all held on magnetically. Every single item is made out of silicone, so you can scrunch it up, fit it in your backpack. You don't have to worry about anything breaking. Um, their prices, these are the show prices as well as the regular prices, are pretty decent, and it seems like a great system to use for your speed lights. One of the things that I really loved about it was they had a Fresnel lens that this was one of the two components that was able to make that image that he's showing on the iPad. I was really impressed and I thought it was really cool. If anybody has used it, please leave a comment below and let me know how it was. This made the child in me very, very happy. Polaroid came out with a new electronic system that can print the photos from your phone. It prints directly onto their photo paper. It's not like the classic Polaroid. This is a brand new way of doing it, and I thought it was really cool. Polaroid is also bringing out a lot of their old classic Polaroid film cameras, uh, trying to take back the market that they lost, which the Impossible Project took over. So they have a lot of their old style cameras, and I thought that was really cool. They're also coming out with the, some of their classic films, as well as some newer ones, which are definitely inspired by the Impossible Project, which I think is pretty awesome.
Sorry the audio is so bad, but basically this allows you to take your business card and make it into a small little video as long as the person has the software downloaded onto their phone. That is really cool. Wow. So pretty much done with uh, Photo Plus Expo. It's kind of cool. Um, these things, it's just a lot of product. Um, saw a couple of things that were really cool that are new. A lot of this stuff you actually see on the internet, but one of the main reasons to come to this show is because you can touch it, feel it, hold it, um, check out the quality, check out the build, ask questions. You can ask questions online, but it's not quite the same. Um, so it's nice to kind of get that hands-on touchy-feeliness with the product and talk to the people. Uh, some of the show special prices are actually really, really good. Um, I know people who save up money and come to this specifically to buy certain items because they know they can get it at a discount. Um, I don't know how much more discounted it would be here in comparison to say like a <laughs> holiday discount or a back to school discount or any of that stuff. Um, that's something where, where you would really have to do the research on. But um, I ended up buying one thing here uh, this time. Uh, normally I really don't buy stuff. I just kind of come gather information. Uh, I have my uh, my bag of bag of bag of paper and information stuff. So I just kind of search through it, uh, go home, check it out, read through. Uh, Mark down on my list of, hey, this is kind of some cool new stuff that I would like to get. Um, but yeah, so I've been coming to Photo Plus Expo, I want to say maybe 10 years, maybe, I don't know. Um, they do have classes, the classes are pretty good. Um, but yeah, so uh, I don't know. I guess I should shut my mouth now. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and I will see you all in another video. Take care, guys. <laughs> this is the one item that I bought at the expo. It is a camera holster. It works great on the shoulder strap of your backpack as well as on your belt. It was able to hold my Canon 7D with the 7200 millimeter lens. I used it when I was shooting on location out in the woods and it worked perfectly. Held my camera, held all the weight. It comes with a hand strap. I ended up not using that. I used my spider hand strap and it was perfect. I really love this. I bought it at the show for $50. It normally retails for $75. If you can, check it out and take a look at it.